Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. I've been trying to think about a way of how to get my message across in this clip today in, in a way which really hits home to a lot of people. I think right now, what better way than to try to spread positivity than to use your channel for good? And I love to be able to do that on my channel. I love to be able to, if I'm feeling something or if I'm feeling an emotion or if something's happened on my channel or in my life, um, or day to day, then I love to try and transform and try to see the posit positive side of things and really try to embrace that and try to pull good from it. I do truly believe that we have one life and if you, why on earth would you not want to spend it by doing good and trying to help people? So for a while I've been trying to come up with some ideas of spreading a little bit of positivity and trying to just make a glimmer of goodness for people and hopefully to be able to take on board and to perhaps change people's mindsets. So this actually um, happened, something happened today which I experienced which actually in a way was almost like my perfect kind of last tick in the box of thinking today's the day when you're going to do that particular clip. Okay, so to have patience, to have understanding and to be kind, life is good. At the end of the day, if we can't sometimes give people a little bit more of our time or try to understand that a little bit more and to always be kind, then what a damn right awful world or life this could be or probably is. Some people I unfortunately come into uh, contact with on a regular basis throughout my workplace, I have tried and tried and tried to be positive and to try every single approach, but yet they still seem to be really quite negative, really quite unkind, um, and in fact actually quite nasty in their approach. But however, having said that, rather than jump to conclusions and me calling them a such and such type of person, I always try to understand and think what, what's going on for that person to act in the way they do. So what I always try to do is even be that extra more positive or that extra more polite and more extra nice. This life is far too short to spend it being tied up in holding grudges and things like that not necessary in my life at all. And of course, it's different for everybody. And it really does, I think, have something to do with how we choose to live our life and what happens to us as well and what we go through. For me, I think that through different things such as of having the blessing of the family, which I have, and then taking on the opposite side of the things when I've gone through the different health problems and different operations, it's really made me appreciate even just the small things in life. Seeing my nan go through Alzheimer's and seeing smaller things in life becoming more of a challenge, that really does make me appreciate all the small things in life and I think sometimes even just getting out of bed in the morning and being able to dress ourselves and to be able to get ourselves ready and to breathe fresh air and open the doors and walk out into the garden when the sun is shining there are so many people bless them in this world who cannot do that unaided or need an awful lot of support to be able to do that and you know what some people I feel could just sometimes do with being a little bit reminded that just how lucky we are in this life and if we work hard I am sure that you will get to where you want to be absolutely you will but in the small steps and on the journey along the way I think sometimes just a little bit more patience a little bit more understanding and kindness would go a huge way and you know what it makes life good when you're having a bit of a difficult day how nice is it when you bump into somebody and someone says oh I'm ever so sorry I'm ever so sorry or how are you are you okay or you bump in and you start having a conversation with somebody who you never really quite spoke to but yet they're really nice and pleasant anyway or perhaps they go out of their way and do something nice for you turn it around. How awful is it if somebody was to bump into you or, I don't know, accidentally knock into you or something and they're just as rude as anything and walk on. These small actions, what we do in our life, defines us as people and also has a huge impact on other people we come into contact with. Like I said, it was today when it last ticked the box in my head that I had to do a clip like this, trying to spread positivity. I was in a store today, a supermarket, with my uh, my mum and my eldest brother. And I witnessed something which really, really wound me up. But again, I tried to see what potentially was going on in that person's mind. There was a lady who was relatively new, you could kind of tell, um, and she was taking her time a little bit on uh, the tills, taking uh, people's groceries through, and of course, ringing all of that up. Um, and you could tell that she was really, really nervous. And first of all, they were waiting in the queue. So it was myself, my mum and my brother. Then there was this couple. Then there was an elderly lady in front. And she was chatting away with the elderly lady in front. And it was fine. And it was really, really nice. You could see she was doing an amazing job. And the couple next was sort of like a younger, a younger woman and then a slightly older man. And um, the younger woman 
straight away he seemed to be quite catty, quite sort of direct with her, and I thought, okay, really no need for that, but there we go, not my business to comment on, merely an observation. And then, of course, for some reason, the sort of older chap walked off to the side and was waiting for her. And you could see there was just zero patience. And this poor young girl, something happened where she had to do something over again, I think. And you could see that just straight away her confidence went out the window, bless her. And she just kind of started to fall to pieces a little bit. Um, and it was fine. It was absolutely fine. Nobody else... It didn't bother me, it didn't certainly didn't bother my mum or my eldest brother or anything at all, because to have patience is, what, free? And we all start in those situations where sometimes we need a little bit more guidance, we need a lot of support, or sometimes just a helping hand, or sometimes just an extra five minutes. She may not have been training, she could have just been having one of those days. You don't know what's going on in her life. And then this bloke across the across the way from her, literally a stone's throw away, I happened to look at him and he rolled his eyes at his, um, I presume his partner or it could have been whoever who he was with, and just, just being nasty and just vile. And I thought, why? Why do that? A little bit of patience, a little bit of understanding. You don't know what that person is going through. And that's my whole motto in life, that to be kind and to be polite and to actually reach out to somebody and sometimes just say, it's okay, or are you okay? Because at the end of the day, when you're looking at somebody and you're chatting to them, you don't necessarily know what that person's going through. You don't know what's happening at home. You don't know what's happened to them last night or the day before or, or whatever, whatever's going on. We Sometimes we're very, very good at hiding all of these things. And then sometimes the smallest thing can set us off and it all comes crumbling down. It's happened to me. It really has happened to me. And that's why I think, while I've always been a positive person, I've always been a very, I try to be a very, um, an understanding person. And I try to understand every aspect of my life and with people. I always try to think, and I try to see the goodness in everybody. Um, I get that from my mum and I get that certainly from my nan as well. Um, and they're exactly the same. But for me, I think to myself that, like I've said, we have one life. Why on earth would you not want to spend it by doing good and helping people? Now, there was another example, and it just really makes you appreciate the small things in life. And I've had many things, like we all have, which have really opened my eyes to appreciate the small things in this life. And as I say, doing the most smallest of things in this life, which we take for granted, some people can't. And I seen this lovely lady today, and she was a mum, and she had a little boy with her, and she was walking around the store, and her son had... And I don't know the politically correct way of saying this, and I'm gonna I'm trying to err on the side of caution with this because I don't know how to address or or kind of how you would describe his sort of illness or or disability possibly. But there was something which he he had um, he needed a little bit more time and he needed a little bit more assistance, and you could see that his mum was doing a fantastic job. And the smallest of things as he was walking along the aisle seemed to really frighten him and jump him. And you could see that he just needed a little bit more support and he needed a little bit more time. And bless him, he had hearing difficulties, and he was he was speaking very loud and he was speaking. Uh, uh, so he was speaking. And you could tell that there was something wrong with him. Bless him, there was something which had obviously happened and which he'd been living, he was obviously living with. And his mum, bless him, you could see that she was so protective and so trying to sort of, in a way, have every, have every sort of eventuality covered. And she was doing so well. And there was this occasion where we seen him again and we were walking down an aisle and he, um, he had hold of, um, on an aisle where they've got like a, um, like an offers card or something telling you about this certain offer. And he had hold of it, had hold of it. And it was on like a bit of a chain at the top and it was swinging and he had hold of it and he was banging it on somebody's trolley over and over. And this lady was stood there and she was so amazing to just stand there and smiled and she had a bit of a joke with him and I just think sometimes you know we live in this sad world where another person how incredibly she interacted with him and there was actually an occasion where he bumped into my mum actually in the same aisle and again I just looked at my mum in awe and thought that's why you're such a wonderful person because why enough would you not want to act like that? And he bumped into my mum quite firmly, actually. And mum turned around and said, because he was holding a box of cakes, and mum said, oh, those look lovely, don't they? Are you going to be enjoying those? And bless him, he was shy and he didn't answer. And, um, and yeah, I just thought to myself, 
wow, what this life is all about. And sometimes just to have that patience, that little bit more understanding, you can see the good, you can see the difference it makes. If you were to turn that story around and to think that you were to come into, if you were to come into contact with somebody who didn't have patience or didn't have time um, or just was perhaps not necessarily that nice when there was no need not to be, you could see how that story would pan out very, very differently. And that's when, when I experienced this today, I thought, wow, there is something up above telling me and ticking those boxes that I need to spread a little bit more positivity and I need to do that today. So that's what this clip is all about. Oh, well, you know what? I have experienced a little bit of elements like this as well myself. And do you know what? It just makes us stronger. So I have hearing problems. Um, so I am deaf on one side and my hearing is affected on my good side. Um, I've learned recently that my hearing has got a little bit worse and I have my own challenges on a daily basis. And um, sometimes I need people to have a little bit more time with me. I'll be quite honest with you. Sometimes when I'm having a conversation, I need people to repeat things for me quite a few times, actually, sometimes. And if I'm having a bit of a stressful day, if I'm on the phone, sometimes people have got to take their time with me. Um, I've been in instances and situations with my mum and my dad and my nan and friends and things. And they've got so heated because of how people have treated me. I remember actually back at Christmas, um, we were paying for some goods in a store at Christmas and the lady was incredibly rude to me. And um, again, I had a hearing problem and she started speaking to me like this as though, <laughs> as though I was, I don't know. And it was, it was cruel. It was really horrible. But to me, I could kind of see that perhaps it's the awareness not there, or perhaps she's not necessarily having a great day herself. And I said pardon several times and she started speaking really like this. And it was very rude, almost like mouthing things at me. Um, I felt terrible. I felt belittled. I really, really did. But I tried to see the good um, in that person. And my mum behind, bless I could see, I was so heated. I was ready to sort of pounce and ready to sort of jump. And um, yeah, mum handled it. But in the nicest possible way, um, but yeah, there was a few firm words, but but it was it was absolutely fine. But again, it was all polite and um, and and good intentioned and and the the right mannerism. There's a way of going about things, isn't there? And you know what? I'm going to put this out there as well. Yes, I see the good in everybody, and I try my utmost best to be to be understanding to every situation. But sometimes, do you know, we get it wrong. Sometimes. People forget themselves. That happens. Nobody in this life is perfect. We will have things that go on. That's why I always say, always, always think and put yourself in somebody else's situation. Isn't the saying like, how can you never ever judge? I absolutely hate that. If somebody judges or presumes, never ever do that. That really, really riles me up. I hate that. I always like to try and think, what would what would you do if that was your mum or your nan or your dad or or a brother or a friend? And I always like to try and treat people that way as well. And you know what? In this life, when things are so sad and so difficult, so often, sadly, when something is free as just having a little understanding or a little bit of patience and just to be kind, when it's free and it costs nothing out of your life to do, why enough would you not want to when it makes such a difference? It makes such a difference to somebody's life. Why would you not want to? And you know what, from being in those situations of my own own, own experiences, um, it does make you stronger. It does make you appreciate the small things. Um, and I think if I can turn that into something and, and spread that and spread that positivity and spread those notions and those sort of teachings to think that actually there's good from even bad and negative situations, even in the worst of times, there's good lessons to be learned from most people, to be quite honest with you. I want to finish this clip by keeping it really positive, as I like to do throughout all of my life. And I want to kind of think that actually, that, you know, what, when something bad does happen, try not necessarily to blame that person, because sometimes it can just be the awareness or it can just be that somebody doesn't know. People have often taken me, um, taken me off quite sharply when I haven't heard something. Um, it's easy to cons be construed as another sort of element of somebody perhaps being a little bit sort of forthcoming or perhaps being a bit confident, but actually it's just because I don't hear or I haven't heard. Um, 
Sometimes people can be just downright rude, can't they? And sometimes people can forget themselves, and, and that happens often. But next time, if it happens to you, try and see the good. Don't necessarily jump. Never try to be presumptuous. Um, and take a little time to be understanding, and put yourself in their shoes. And lastly, always be kind. Even in your darkest of times when the worst has happened to you, always be kind. And you know what, I try to remember that. When I lost my nan and my life was turned upside down, I was never mean, I was never ever nasty or short to anybody. It's not within my nature. And when you sit back and you witness things like this on the TV, on the news, or just in general life, when people speak to other people like this, or do bad things and hurt other people in that, you do really think, what a crazy world we live in, just as what my nan used to say. So, if those people can't change, then I think it's vitally important that me, you, if we can be a little bit more kind, or a little bit more patient, or a little bit more understanding, then how amazing, how wonderful is that in this life? Okay, thanks very much indeed for sharing this clip with me. As you can see, this is something which I'm very, very passionate about. It means a lot to me. Again, just to have patience, to have understanding, and to be kind. So, so simple things, but yet we don't see it that often, sadly, in this life. And not as often as we should do. Okay, thanks very much indeed, and until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take great care, and remember, it's the weekend if you're watching this, so have a really great weekend, or if you're seeing this in midweek, or in a couple of months' time, I wish you the best of health, and just perhaps next time when you're having a conversation with somebody, and you go to think, oh, what on earth is that person on about, or you try to be a little bit short, just think about what's going on in their life, or what they're carrying, what load are they carrying in life, is something happening or going on with them? Perhaps even ask them, are you okay? Can I help? Are you feeling okay? How are you? Simple phrases which make a whole world of difference. Believe you me, I've been in situations when I've been on my own at work and I felt like the whole world is falling down around me. Or sometimes just, are you okay? Or do you want to talk? And it really makes a world of difference. Be positive, have that good positive mindset and remember the best way of dealing with negativity is positivity. Bye for now. Thanks and my very best wishes to you and thank you very much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.